Breaking news, my beautiful people, will be very sustainable. Best day for Peter will be in court as essential documents get got successful tendered. Today was arguably the petitioner's best day in court as respondents were obviously taken on our ways. Having adjoined yesterday, to reconvene with presentation of witnesses in schedule, the respondents' councils must have arrived court today armed to the tooth with cross-examination iron bars and hot iron bars for that matter. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, today was arguably the petitioner's best day. I'm talking about Peter Obi in court. As respondents, we are obviously taken on our ways. Having adjoined yesterday to reconvene with presentation of witnesses in Shedu, the respondent councils must have arrived court today armed to the tooth with cross-examination iron bars and hot iron bars for that matter. But instead, the petitioner successfully tendered essential document from six contentious states in evidence. Lining up at the petitioner's corner where Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, who stood in for himself and his party. The Cardinal State Bond Senator Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, the vice presidential candidate of the party. Comrade Julius Aburi, the national chairman of the party, and Professor Akin, the director general of the Labour Campaign Council. The petitioners' councils were led by Professor Awa Kalufsan. First respondent, INEC Council, was led by Sam Ihoro San. The second and the third respondent councils, Tinubu and Shetima, were led by Wale San. The fifth respondent councils, APC, was led by Latif San. Kalu took over and introduced a member of his team, Emeka Okboko San, to take over the course of rendering documents for the petitioners. Immediately, Okboko took over. Yoro objected, saying that the petitioners just served them papers to indicate rendering of documents this morning. After the usual batter, the Aruna-led panel allowed Okboko to proceed. However, there the arose an issue uh, regarding scheduling of documents filed and another of tendering leading to the, to the court to stand down in order for the petitioners to put things in order. Based on these normal issues in all courts, particularly tribunals, the propagandists went to, to turn saying things ranging from that the petitioners were not ready, that they are confused to outrightly labeling OB and labor uh, party councils incompetent. They attempted vainly to smear an otherwise very successful day for the petitioners. But after the 10 minutes step down, the court resumed and tendering of forms EC8A and EC8B produced accordingly. The River States, 18 local governments, the Benue State, 23 local governments across River State, 18 local governments, Niger State, 21 local governments, Oshun State, 20 local government and Ikiti state, 16 local government were all tendered and admitted by the tribunal in evidence. Nevertheless, INEC and all other respondents objected to the document so tendered, informing the tribunal that they would state reasons for objection. In writing during presentation of final addresses, uh, strangely, INEC objected to document the certified period to tendering. By 1.00 p.m., Okbako finished and the petitioners were done for the business of the day. They asked for adjournment 
to continue tomorrow and without any objection from the respondent, the tribunal adjoined will be the sustainable to June 2nd. By all indices, indications, indices of election petitions, today was very successful one for the petitioners. 12 more states to be rendered tomorrow. So this is going well for Peter B and the Labour Party. You understand? This is really going well for them. If all things being equal, if the tribunal really wants to you know, look into all these matters very well, they will see something to pick. Record that the outcome of the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria Majority of people have expressed the high level of disappointment over the outcome of the election that produced Bola Metsunubu as the Nigerian president elect. Okay, uh, different people in Nigeria has blamed the chairman of the INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, for failing to fulfill the promises he made to the citizens of Nigeria before the election started. The Labour Party and the PDP, Atiku Abubakar and um, Peter Obi, they are in court for redress. According to them, they said they should be declared the winner because they won the election. The P a APC presidential candidate did not. That is the, the current president of Nigeria right now, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. They said the election was rigged in his favor. So, majority of Nigerians are eagerly watching, you know, the, 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 what is going to be the outcome of this uh, uh, election and all that. Well, the truth remains that Nigeria is in the hands of uh, 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 the judiciary, you understand. This will mark the end or the beginning of democracy in Nigeria if all things be equal. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.